Hi, William Kiddo here for the Holman Disciple Study Bible. Doctrine, doctrinal and Life Helps New International Version. This book was published in 1988. Here's a little hack that you can do with your Bibles if you can find Bob Phillips' Ready Reference, which is a concise topical guide to your Bible. I glued mine in on the inside flap. And as you can see, it's different subjects that you can study. So, getting into the Bible. Let me flip this over. This is the presentation page. It says the New International Version, Disciple Study Bible, presented to. It also has a Certificate of Marriage page. It has births and deaths. More marriages. And when. Now, let me get into the table of contents here. I have a, and uh, how to use your disciple study Bible. The outlines of doctrine. <clears throat> List of contributors. Preface to the New International Version. Books of the Bible in alphabetical order. Books of the Bible in order of abbreviations. NIB Bible Text Center column, cross-reference NIB Text Notes, doctrinal annotations below Bible Text, theological introduction to the book of the Bible, summaries of weights and measures, histories of doctrinal helps, I'll show you that here in just a moment, glossary of theological terms, life helps, and doctrinal reference indexes, of course your colored charts and illustrations, and maps. On the first page you'll see that how to use your Disciple Study Bible. These two, three pages here show you exactly how to use it, how to study the Word of God, and how to study the doctrinal notes, annotations, which are at the bottom of the text, or the bottom of the Bible. As you can see here. Alright. How to study in a Bible doctrine. It's really good information. All kinds of good information in this. This is your alphabetical listings of the Bible books and outlines of doctrines that are inside. Let's jump right into this Bible. It has Disciple Study Bible. It tells you the contributors. So it has a contributor page, it has theological annotations and summaries of doctrines, history of Bible doctrines, editorial consultants, it has the preface to the New International Version, which is really, really good. Now, see it now. Holman is making a new Disciple Study Bible in the CSB version, which is Christian Standard Bible, and I read the preface to the CSB and it's not as detailed as the New International Version. The one in the CSB doesn't tell you what denominations besides several denominations were involved. In this preface it tells you exactly who was involved with the Aramaic and the Greek and the Hebrew editions. Uh, I know it's right in here somewhere. might see it on the video itself but Britain Canada Australia New, New Zealand different workers worked on this here you go Anglican Assemblies of God Baptist Brethren Christian Reformed Christian Reformed Church of Christ Evangelical Free Lutheran Mennonite Methodist Nazarene Presbyterian Wesleyan and other churches helped to safeguard the translation of the Secretarian bias from Secretarian bias and it gives you the whole history of the New International Version and I wish Holman would have done the same and follow that dialogue and here you have theological outlines, theological conclusions, contemporary teachings of Genesis this is the theological see what it says theological settings of Genesis 
I hope you can see that. Let me go ahead and pull back just a hair. There we go. And then you get into the book of the Bible. So here's the beginning, chapter 1 of Genesis. And then you have the teachings, or which is right there, different teachings of the doctrines. And I did bookmark several places that I wanted to show you. That's actually where I'm at, Luke. But it starts off in the back with study helps. So you have a whole page of study helps, tables, weights, and measures. Then you have doctrinal study helps. Summaries of the doctrines. So these are all, there's several pages of summaries. On different doctrines, including baptism. And then you have histories of the major doctrines, the Trinitarian God, history of the doctrine of God, and so forth. You also have glossary of theological terms in the back of the Bible. Life helps, relating doctrines to life, table of contents. And then they jump right on in with the life helps. Of course, this is all in the international version. And that's what I wanted to show you about this Bible. I don't, I haven't read or seen the new, the Disciple Study Bible that CSB is putting out today. This Bible you cannot buy in the stores anymore. It's the new international version. You'll have to go to Book Finder, Amazon, eBay to find it. There's eight pages of maps good heavy cardstock and then you have one blank page with a model number on it stamped into it a lot of people put notes on there but this is pretty heavy cardstock and what I was thinking of doing was putting some biblical postcards this is an old postcard I found in my mother's but my mother-in-law's Bible and it's the underground gardens in Fresno California this is his private chapel where he prayed. There's the garden. And I was thinking about taping that with double stick tape right back there. I wouldn't use glue, might bleed through. One thing about this Bible, let's see, if you highlight in it, you're going to see ghosting. See that? The page is down and you can see ghosting from the other side. Well, when you highlight, that highlight comes through. These are thin pages. One thing that I don't like about this Bible is that it's thin pages. You have to be careful not to tear it. See, here's a highlight that I've made with just regular, with a regular highlighter. It wasn't a, you know, it was made for the Bible. It wasn't a heavy highlight, but you can see it bleeds right through the page. And right here's your, your doctrinal studies in Philippians goes into Acts you know all in all it's a really good Bible this Bible is actually a bonded leather with it's a pure a bonded leather Bible it's lasted you know I bought this in the 90s but of course shelf wear is on the book and you can see where I pasted that ready reference outline on the outside of it but a bonded leather is basic is leather, but it's pieces of leather bonded together. And some of it's, you know, it's going to be bonded with some other materials. It doesn't make, you know, it's an economy Bible, which is a little bit better than the basics, than your basic hardback or, or paperback, which I don't recommend any paperback Bibles, unless you just plan on throwing it away within a year or two. Hardbacks are really good Bibles to have as long as you keep the jackets. Don't lose the jackets. 
And this has been my review of the Disciple Study Bible. And oh, one more thing, really important. One thing that I don't like about this Bible is the small writing. The verse, you know, the Bible verses itself and chapters are pretty good. But when you get down here, as you, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me get a little bit closer. You can see how it changes. Here's your, here's your verses. Looks like it's in seven and a half, maybe eight point. And then it drops down to 6.5 down here. Or maybe even seven, but it's hard to read. And when you get older, pages get harder to read for some reason. And I have bifocals and it's hard to read without a lot of good light. Well, this has been my review of the Holman Disciple Study Bible. And once I get my hands on the new CSP Disciple Study Bible, I'll make a comparison and another review. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.